Hi everybody, my name is Courtney and I am Fiber Fox Studios and today we are doing a long overdue Tales from the Truck. <laughs> I think it's been like nine or ten months since I put one out but I am going to be bringing them back just more probably on like a bi-weekly basis instead of trying to do them weekly. Um, so in today's episode I'm going to show you guys a couple projects that I'm working on they're not finished. <laughs> takes me a really long time to uh, finish projects and I'm gonna share some happy mail I got because I did win a gift away from two OGs hooking and stitching island style if you don't know who that is I will link her down below I love her channel so please go and check her out um, we're gonna get started with projects and if you are hearing noise like a weird buzz in the background <laughs> I am at home filming this episode. I still got in the truck for you guys. And the cicadas and I don't know what else are <laughs> making a ton of noise. So um, it's really loud to me. And this, these cameras, man, I tell you what, it, they tend to pick up stuff. Like if there's anything going on in the background that you don't want picked up, that is exactly <laughs> what they will pick up you know and so we're gonna start with my uh butterfly alley pattern um it is a mosaic crochet as you guys probably guessed <laughs> if you if you're new here and you haven't seen my tutorials basically i've been doing only mosaic crochet with an occasional other type of crochet item and mosaic has definitely become my focus for the channel so this is Butterfly Alley. This right here is from the chart set. So I did not do a tutorial on this. Hopefully it's picking up. This is one of the alternative patterns that's in that chart set. I think it's like chart five or something. Uh, there's several charts in, in my chart sets typically. But this design is got the butterfly with a pattern in between. You might recognize that pattern in between. It's just little bit larger version of something I put out and then we're getting into what I did tutorials on now <laughs> guys are like get to what we can do so right here is this week's tutorial this is the half butterfly so let me show you the edge you can see I start out with a half butterfly and doing that creates offset butterfly to the first pattern which is right here this is the first butterfly that I released. So that's the full butterfly pattern. And that was a week ago. And then actually released it. So it's actually available to watch on the channel. So those two together create that effect. Hopefully you guys can see. I don't, I don't know if you can. And of course, here comes background noise. <laughs> the train is coming. <sighs> always <laughs> if you've watched my tutorials you hear that in the background um i do try to pause now that i have a better camera set up going on but that does not always <laughs> you still hear it sometimes um let's see after i throw some stuff around so now i'm going to and i will link the butterfly alley tutorials down below um, now I'm going to show you a shawl that I've been working on. So the body of the shawl is done. It is, let me start over here. Okay, so you guys have seen this part of it. In thumbnails, and in, in the intros, and in videos for the tutorials. I forget which pattern number this is. <laughs> I I really I mean <laughs> it's a lot to remember I will find it and link it below um I know I'm so professional <laughs> but I've told you guys before I'm not a professional so <laughs> so anyway so this is the shawl and this is using mandala lion brand mandala cakes you know and then an another yarn, all the yarn information's on the videos. So you guys had seen that, and I continued on with it, making the shawl. And this is all from that same cake. 
and we go here and so I ran out of this color the peach color that I was using ran out and so I switched to it was the same type of yarn just a different color because <laughs> I was out so <laughs> um, I'm trying to use from my stash not buy any more yarn so I I wasn't going to go buy the color or anything. <laughs> and so now, this is all mine, all my pattern. And it's all in one chart set. But this part down here, I finished out the shawl. So I want to show you guys that. Using someone else's pattern. And this is from Yarn Trees and Rainbows Mediterranean Shores pattern so that was released I believe a few months ago I saw the pattern and I had to have it so I bought it <laughs> and I wanted to work on you know at least a swatch so this is only one of the patterns in her chart set there is two or three more but this I just worked one of them a repeat of one of them just to have it finish out mine and I thought it looked kind of good so that's that, and I love the pattern. I'll link it down below for you guys as well. She does not have a tutorial. She doesn't do YouTube. Um, she just sells her charts, and there are written row repeats, and it's a lot of information in there. So 100%, you know, it is a step above <laughs> what I do. <laughs> you know, there's a, it's a lot more detail. Kind of my detail comes in on the video you know description and hers is you know all there so it's a really nice one but i really like how this ended up turning out so my ends of my shawl i have my ending pattern over here and then hers over here and i just i love it when it's on and i'm like wearing it it is so pretty but it is way too hot out here for that now I'm almost finished with it the way I, the reason why I say that is because for whatever reason <laughs> I got this wild idea to do fringe so I have been putting on fringe and I haven't trimmed any of this yet so you can see this is just gonna be for me basically when it's a little chilly in the house and I'm going to keep it on my couch. And I'm going to trim this down. But I've been doing this fringe. I had started out with um, bulkier fringe. Like doing more strands. You know. At, a, at each little connection. But that was taking too long. <laughs> I was so tired of cutting yarn. And I know if you're new. I live in a tiny house. So... There's not a lot of space to have things just like sitting out while you're working on them. So I have to put things up, you know, and then bring it back out. Yeah. So having cut fringe is just a mess. So whatever I cut would be what I'd have to put on. Um, yeah, I wish I hadn't. <laughs> but I'm in too deep to go back now and change it. So eventually... I've got my yarn, like, set out to do this today. I'm going to work on it more. Um, but I'm going to do a couple house projects first. So, I'm going to keep plugging away at that. And then I'll trim everything even. And it'll be beautiful. So, those are my two projects. Like I said, I'll link everything down below. Now, we're going to get into the Happy Mail real quick. Okay. So, I won... The gift away from two OGs hooking and stitching and she sent me this awesome box and I'm going to show you guys real quick. I am saving the very best thing for last. This was not part of the gift away. Um, I bought one of her sweaters. She has one of the um, Kofi or coffee. I'm not sure. Little things, little counts where you can donate money and they have little shops set up on there and she listed some of her items that she's made in the shop and I fell in love with the sweater. I had to have it. And it's not even for me. I actually bought it with my mom in mind. I think it will look so cute on her. I think it will be perfect for this winter. So, I cannot wait to show you guys that. But it's going to be the last thing. <laughs> 
it, I got some awesome teas to try, which I'm going to be trying today. <laughs> I'm actually going to give these a go. It's different teas, different flavors and stuff. Super, super, super nice. I cannot wait to try getting a gift of tea. <laughs> it's great because I can try it. And then if I really like it, I can order some. So that was in there. And then these look she made these and i love them look i hope the stitch work like the definition is showing up these are so nice and i've got one here's number two three and number four I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so definitely love these and they will be getting used. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and then this, ah, oh, so cute. I'm going to see if I can incorporate this into my intros where I write like the pattern number or whatever here and have like a little flag in the picture. <laughs> so it's got a stand on it. So super cute. Love that. And then one of these little notebooks. I use these for pattern notes and things like that. So totally, totally needed a new one because I've actually, I'm almost, I think I have like three pages left. In my other one. <laughs> and then I got this set of little ergonomic crochet hooks. And blue is my favorite color. So I absolutely love these. <laughs> They've got a cute little design here on the handle. So, I really like these, and they came with a case, and I happen to be going out of town this weekend, so guess what's traveling with me? <laughs> right here. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. And then these, and I have never seen these in any of the craft stores, not in Hobby Lobby, not in Michael's. I don't know if I'm overlooking them, but I looked for them in the past. I wanted to see them in person because I usually use like toilet rolls, like the empty roll <laughs> as like a yarn bobbin. So these are professional yarn bobbins. So thank you. Love those. And then this right here, you guys, I got to see real quick, real quick. We've got postcards from the island. Hopefully you guys can see. I love the island that she lives on. It is so gorgeous. And this one is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't wait to open. I had to. That is so pretty. You see the lighthouse? Hopefully you guys can see. It is just gorgeous. I love it. So I'm putting those in my photo album. <laughs> like their pictures like I've been there. <laughs> And then, let's see, what else? Um, I'm going to show you guys the yarn. This right here is going to make a debut in some holiday designs that I'm working on. Love it. It's the Patton's Glam Stripes. And then this, and I had to open this because I was really curious. So, this is the Bernat or Bernay. Uh, Sheepish Stripes by Vicki Howell. And I feel like I'm supposed to know who that is, and I don't. <laughs> but the yarn is awesome. <laughs> very, very soft. So this has got merino wool, I think, in it. Let's see. It's 70% acrylic, 30% wool. It is so soft. Like, I honestly cannot feel the wool in here. So I really, really, really love this. And it's such a gorgeous color. Like, it on me <laughs> and then last but not least from the box oh and there's some stitch markers too i'll hold those up these and i love this color i had wanted to buy this it's like the little teeny tiny you know like strand it's a lace weight you add it to or use it as a trim and it's got sparkles in it. I had seen this on somebody's video. And then I went to buy some at that time. And they were sold out. And then I thought about it a few more times. And they were sold out. Love it. <laughs> this right here was the exact color. And then I love golds. 
I'm actually completely out of the gold. I only have silver with the sequins left in a different brand. This is the L in, or was it Enchant? Yep, Enchant, and it's by Premier. So, love these. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really love it. If you guys could go show her some love, I would greatly appreciate it. And now, best for last. This bag was in there. Do, 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 do. See? <laughs> I guess I don't have to look over. <laughs> I'm trying to see if you guys can see. So, new project bag <laughs> for me. <laughs> I'm actually going to use this as what I'm going to pack for my trip. This is my project it's going in here. This. This is the sweater. It is so gorgeous, you guys. It's even prettier in person. Like, and I thought it was really pretty when I saw it. This sweater right here. And she does care instructions. She has it on the, let's see the bottom. She has it on the outside of the package, which is, I've kept that. Look at the sleeve, man. I just love it. And I'm not good at stuff like this. <laughs> so, I mean, it is just absolutely gorgeous. I love the trim on there. The laciness of it. It is so pretty. Like, look at that. And, obviously, this is knitted. Or maybe it's not obvious. It's knitted. And I can already tell you guys... Because it's got things, I think there's some mohair here. I know there's like alpaca, um, the titty caca <laughs> from whole scarn. <laughs> She's holding some of that in here too. And um, the patents lace and all, it's got that kind of haloiness to it. So it's extra warm. It's making me hot just happening <laughs> here in my lap. But oh, I love this. Absolutely beautiful work. The neckline and everything, like it just, it is perfect. <laughs> I really love it. Honestly, I do. Antoinette, you did a fantastic job. I cannot knit like hardly at all. I'm trying. I'm trying to learn, but no, mine stuff does not look like this. It is just gorgeous, and I just love. I don't know. The construction is so. It looks like it's store-bought. You know what I mean? But it's perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that is the end of today's episode. If you guys could check out the links down below. Um, also, if you don't know who she is, Charlene Crochet Corner. She is having surgery today. So if you guys could jump over or I guess by the time you guys see this, it'll be a day or two after depending on how long this takes to upload so jump over to her channel though and show her some love um and support because she's going through it and i know a lot of us are but see you guys in the next episode um i'll kind of put it back to the more standard format maybe i don't know what to really do with these <laughs> but as always i appreciate you guys so 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 much for watching so see you next time